these days. What are you up to, Mel? Hey, we are just catching up with you now. We've been talking about that caramel apple tart here at Fort Madison at the Ivy downtown. And this is Peggy Rickleman. She has been a baker here for 12 years. We've baked this apple tart. This is one of them that's already been baked. Yes. Now, how do we top this bad boy okay. off? Okay, well, first we take the ring off the springform pan. Ooh, so that's pretty. Beautiful looking tart there. And then all we have to do is drizzle on the caramel. What's the difference between a tart and a pie? Oh, tart would be like, like this is more of a press and crust, it's mm -hmm. crumbly and everything. And a pie is, um, you know, normally with the rolled crust. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it, it seems like a, a lot of about a pie, but it, it mm -hmm. definitely it's tastes different. It's very similar, and it might taste a little similar, but there are the little bit of differences. So Very neat. This is one of 8 to 12 desserts that's made here daily at the Ivy downtown. And, of course, a lot of those desserts change every day, so you never know what you're going to get. One of the other favorites here, we've been making it mm -hmm. this morning, and that's the fresh strawberry pie. Earlier this morning, we made this glaze, let it cool a little bit. Now, what's the next step? Okay, then all we have to do is slice our strawberries. Yes, and we'll it's a sure the, yep. sign of spring when you've got some strawberries like this. Wonderful. So how many strawberries would you say go into a pie like this? This would be a quart. A quart of, a quart strawberries. of strawberries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gets you in the mood for spring, I assume. Oh, yes, it definitely <laughs> is. This is going to be the first one of the season. So First one of the season. So, so that means spring is coming. <laughs> if you're looking for some strawberry pie this morning, I know exactly mm -hmm. where you can get it. Right. <laughs> well, coming up on KHQA this morning, we're going to be talking more about the strawberry apple or strawberry <laughs> pie. Yes. And we're going to be uh, cutting into an apple tart and showing you what it looks like. Melissa. All sorts of fun favorites here at the Ivy downtown in Fort Madison. We were just talking about all the desserts that are coming up later today. They have about 8 to 12 every morning. But right now we are talking about fresh strawberry pie. Check this out. We've been cutting some strawberries up. Now we're putting half of the strawberry glaze on top. This is Peggy Rickleman, by the way. She's been a baker here for the last 12 years or so. Now what's the next step? Well, we got half the strawberries, half the glaze. We're mm -hmm. going to finish up our last strawberries here. And they smell delightful. Mm -hmm. A sure they sign are, that yes. warmer weather is just around the corner. Very sweet to, right now. So and then we'll put the rest of the strawberries on top. Okay. And I'm helping you out there yep. a little bit, <laughs> doing the best I can. So now the, the strawberry glaze that we used, what did we have in that earlier today? That was um, sugar and some cornstarch, some corn syrup, and water. And oh. then after that boils and gets thick, we add our strawberry jello to it. Oh, it looks so good. And this is a cold pie, so mm -hmm. it will be able to set up. And, and do you actually refrigerate it after that? Yes, we refrigerate it for several hours so it can set up. And then we can serve it with some whipped cream. So at you bake all of these goods. We're talking 8 to 12 desserts that are served here on a daily basis. Then you've got unlimited amounts of recipes you try throughout the year. Oh, yes. What is your favorite? Oh, golly. <laughs> That's, that's, that's very hard. If I'm in the mood for chocolate, I just love the mocha java brownie. It's Ooh. got coffee and Kahlua in it, and both the brownie and the frosting. And if I'm in a fruit mood, I always love strawberries, but uh. also our white chocolate raspberry almond bar is uh. really good fruit dessert, too. Man, and she gets here at 6 a.m. to start desserts and breakfast items just for people like you that are passing by. Well, coming up on KHQA this morning, we're going to talk more about the history of this location. You'll never guess what it started as.